just because she's not eating a lot that she wasn't eating that many calories. When in fact that the foods that she was eating were very dense in calories. So what's going on guys? I'm on this morning walk here in the valley. You know this is the bike path right by the dog park. And I wanted to get on here to talk about me being very aggressive in my videos, me being like, work out, lift heavier, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, I think, intimidating some of you guys to even do the workouts. What I basically am trying to say here is that do what you can with what you got today. And I heard that quote a long time ago, and, you know, I'm on, my, I'm on this walk, and I was just thinking, um, you know, what can I create right now that's going to help people move more and I think that the one thing that's going to help is knowing that you don't have to go so intense you know I know I go intense but you don't have to go intense like you could go on this walk we're about to pass some uh, cute couple over here with their dog and if you do this every day it's going to get the heart rate a little bit elevated it's going to get the endorphins going and I think I told you guys before but I told my mom to start walking every day during quarantine she was like getting a whole bunch of weight not a lot of weight but a little bit and morning she went on a walk every day she did like three miles uh two two miles in the beginning but like worked up to the three miles a day she would count her like nuts count her vegetables count whatever she was eating and within i think three months she lost 20 pounds and i keep bringing that up my mom because my mom was one of the last people to ever listen to my workout advice she in her mind thought and then mom if you are watching this video comment down below but she thought that just because she's not eating a lot that she wasn't eating that many calories when in fact that the foods that she was eating were very dense in calories so even though it didn't seem like she was eating a lot of food she would only eat a couple times a day those foods were high calories you know those foods had high fats in them those foods had high carbs in them uh, and not a lot of protein so eating the macronutrients that aren't helping they're not eating the macronutrient that is helping all these little things will add up you know all these little things will add up and so that's why I'm here on this walk to tell you guys, you don't have to go so intense. I know I do, but you don't have to go as intense. You can build up to it. And a quote that I always like to think about as I'm doing stuff like that is, do what you can with what you got today. You know, you don't have to go any crazy. You don't have to be going hurting yourself. So be safe, move, and remember movement is medicine. And here's another thing on the moving and being healthy. If you ever think about manifesting or if you're a manifest, like you try to, you know, write your goals out and, and achieve these things in your life, the healthier you are, the more those things are going to be easier to achieve. And what I mean by that is like if you're trying to go on a trip with your kids or you're trying to go on an event, you know, maybe you're trying to take your girlfriend or your boyfriend on a hike up 14,000, you know, I don't know what the Colorado thing is, but it's like 14,000 meters or... I forget feet, um, but those kind of things, if you're trying to like do an event, even like roller coasters at, you know, theme parks, you can't manifest that if you're not as healthy. You know, you can't manifest a trip or manifest if you can't move, you know? So think about that as well as like, the healthier you are, the easier it will be to manifest your dreams into reality. For you youngins, start young. I always try, I'm trying to say that a little bit more, but start young. You know, the best day to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Second best time is today. So start young. If you're watching these and you're young, start going to the gym. You know, start doing push ups and pull ups outside of the park. Start doing crunches in your room. But these things that are going to help you become healthier, help you become stronger, is not just going to make you become stronger physically, trust me. So it's going to help you become stronger in other aspects of your life as well. So try. You know, challenge yourself every day. Again, especially if you're young, start young. It'll be easier to keep the habit as you grow older. So that concludes my rant. Just wanted to say, you don't have to go as intense um, on your workouts. You can just go on a walk or do what you can with what you got today. I'm ending my walk, Middle Valley bike path or dog park, whatever you, beautiful morning. Just gonna do a little circle. There's a dog park, sun's in my eyes, so I can't really see what you're seeing right now. It's a very nice morning. I need to do this more often. Mm. That's beautiful. So try to get some movement in today, guys. Remember, movement is medicine. 
uh, book is coming out tomorrow. I'm just kidding. The book will hopefully come out uh, in the next year. I got to obviously write it, which I have the chapters down, but I got to now fill out inside the chapters and I have to find like a publisher or how to get those to make them look good as an actual book. Uh, the ebook will definitely be first. And then from that, I will, you know, reach out to people and try to get it published with like real paper and stuff. So hopefully you guys keep staying tuned. Have a wonderful day. And remember, be certain in yourself, be certain in your skills, and be consistent in your actions, because consistency is key.